In this video, we're going to take a look at the Wix logo maker. That's right, Wix website builder. You can make logos and even start a website from that logo. So let's take a look at it, see how good it is, see what you can do in it, and maybe whether or not you should really use it. First, for starters, go to wix.com slash logo slash maker. I'll put a link in the description or the top comment. We start on this page. I'm not logged in right now. We'll see if I need to here, but we can click get my logo. Now we click that and we can hire a professional designer to match a logo with us or create a logo yourself. I think we're here to make a logo ourselves. So let's create one. Now we do have to sign up. So I'm going to click continue with Google and we can start designing our logo. What's the name of our business? Let's just recreate the pixel and bracket logo. So the name of my business is pixel and bracket. Let's go. No tagline there. Uh, this is for design, I guess. A design studio, sure. We're going to hit next. Now you can skip all this and go straight to the builder, but I'm going to show you what it does, and then we'll just go ahead and create our own pretty much. I think I want it to be modern, I think. Maybe timeless, not sure. But I'm going to click modern. Next. Okay, so we have a couple of design choices here. Which do I like better? I think I like this one better. I don't like either of these. Well, actually, no, this one's okay. And this one's okay too. I don't like either of these. So I'm going to click, I don't like either of them right here. And neither of those either. No, thank you. Okay, let's see what happens here. So what Wix does, is it takes all that stuff you just gave it, and it's going to make a bunch of different logo choices for you and give you a ton of options. So look on the left hand side here, it says choose your logo. And we can choose between a lot of different options. So if we see any starting points that we like, we could pick from those. I'm just scrolling down here. I'm not sure I'm in love with any of these. This one right here is okay. So I'm going to click on that. And once we have that selected, any of these selected, we can hit customize your logo up here. Okay, cool. So we're in the Wix logo maker. Let's start in the upper left. Up here, we've got templates which is basically everything that we had just looked through. We've got our palette, so we can choose a color palette. We've got text, we can add text. We can add symbols. So symbols are kind of like, they're kind of like shapes except with more, right? You see, I've got a bunny shape out here or anything like that. And I can actually search through these symbols. So maybe I wanted to add like a pencil icon. I could type in pencil and find all these symbols. Some of them even colored. Under shapes, it's more like silhouettes of things. And we'll actually probably use the shapes a lot. And we can search for a lot of different things. Like um, we can search for icons. I'm going to type in print. Is there a print icon? No, arrow. That's a better, that's a better thing to type. Okay, so we have a ton of arrows we could add. Any of these things we could add. Um, we'll probably stick to just basic shapes. Images, if you wanted to upload an image. This is a logo maker though, so don't upload an image. Okay, no images in your logo. Then we can choose the background color as well. I'm going to just keep it as white. So my goal here is to kind of recreate the pixel and bracket logo. I'm going to do that mostly with shapes and we'll probably change the text as well. Now up here you have pixel and brackets brand design. So you can actually create multiple logos or multiple symbols. And if I create a new design, I can select more than just logos. I can actually make business cards. I can do social posts. This is like this Wix designer where you can do a ton of different things, but I could click logos, start with one of those templates or duplicate the existing one. When I do that, I actually get another uh, logo or another design box out here. And you can see I've got the main one here and I've got this secondary one here. If you go to the next step, you're actually, they're actually going to make a website around your logo for you if you want it. And it's going to pick the primary logo to do that. If you're designing on this secondary section, which I think I will because I like this box it gives me, so it is a little bit more helpful to line things up and it makes it bigger too. Um, what you can do is click these three dots and just set this as the primary logo. You can also, at any point in time, download a 500 by 500 PNG file of the logo. Okay, let's take a look at what we got going on here. So we've got all these shapes and things out here. We've got our business name. Anytime I click on something, you can see on the left hand side, we've got all these properties. We can customize the text. 
I'm going to keep it as all caps, pixel, and bracket. We can customize the font, the alignment, the fill color. Uh, we can add an outline, the size of it, right? We can drag that up and down to change the size. We can do a lot of things, flipping it, rotating it, position it. We can even add a shadow to it uh, and even blur it, right? So a lot of different ideas, a lot of different tools, a lot of different things you can add here. Now with the shapes, same type of thing. Properties panel, tons of different things. We can decide to fill it with a solid color or a pattern. We can choose the color, right? I can change that to black real quick and easy. And you can even change the shape if you want. What I'm gonna do is uh, just kind of delete these. I don't think I want these. I think I wanna make my own shapes. Now, I don't think you can press the delete key on your keyboard. Oh, you can. Okay, so delete deletes it out. Some shortcut keys don't work. Now we can click on these and we can drag them around. We can click and drag to select multiple elements, similar to any design program. And it does give you a little dot grid out here. So we're gonna use that when we bring in our shapes to build out the pixel and bracket logo. So let's, uh, let's bring out a shape. Let's see if we can click and drag it out. No, but we can click on it and it puts that shape out here. Now this fill color is gonna be black. And I'm gonna make sure the pixel and bracket fill color is also all the way black. I don't want that to be gray necessarily. And what we can use is these little dots and we can kind of line this stuff up, click and drag a corner to scale it in and click and drag these little handles to skew it in. So I'm gonna make this guy one, two dots wide. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll make it six, seven, eight. How's that? Eight dots tall. No, we'll make it six. Sorry guys. All right, so what we can do with this piece, now that we've created this little piece, we can right click on that and duplicate it. And then we can grab this little handle and rotate it. And if we hold shift, it locks it in to 15 degree increments and we can snap it into the top left. And you can see where I'm going with this, right? Pixel and bracket logo is basically a square with a bracket on the side of it. So we can do the same thing here, duplicate these pieces around and you can build out shapes just like that. So we've got our starter here and we can duplicate another shape bring this over. I'm going to go two uh, spaces over and then we're going to skew this in to here. And then we can duplicate this guy, bring him down and it locks it in, which is really nice. And last thing is I just need a side piece here. That didn't sound right. <laughs> I just need this uh, piece on the side. Uh, no, no way I say that. It sounds better. Okay. So we've got this. I think they need to be a little bit closer. So I can click and drag and grab all these pieces, kind of scoot them closer a little bit. You can actually use the arrow keys as well. And I think I've pretty well done it. Now this font, I don't like as much. So I'm going to change the font to enter and probably bold. We can press enter on that to select a font. I'm going to do black. There we go. Now it's too big, right? So we need to come over here and find the size and kind of bump that down a little bit. There we go. Then we can click and drag on the logo, kind of bring it over. It should snap into the center somewhere right in there. Same thing with this, kind of snap it in there. And even though this looks a little offset optically, it actually is centered. There's the same space on the left and the right of this. Okay. Now we've got our logo created. So I, I recreated the pixel and bracket logo using shapes and just combining that all together. I could download a PNG version of it to play around with that, but I could also click this next button up here and move on to the next step. Now, before we do that, I want to talk about something. You might have noticed I just built this out of shape pieces, right? Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of tools like the pen tool, you can't just create rectangles. You have to put shapes out here and then you can, you can crop them from the edges, but it's not a very fluid design process. So if you have something simple, like my pixel and bracket logo here, very silhouette based, very um, geometric shape based element, then it works for that. Or if in the templates you see something that Wix provides that you like, it works for that too or last or under symbols if there's a good symbol that you just like to use with your business name 
that works too. But as far as getting creative with it and using things like the pen tool that you might find in Illustrator or um, using you know Photoshop tools, things like that, it's pretty minimal as far as that is concerned. But that's okay. I am going to make this my primary logo so that the next page actually shows us the right logo. And then on this secondary logo over here, I'm going to just delete that. I don't want that one anymore. So we only have this primary logo. Now what we can do, you can click this arrow here or you can click the next arrow up here and it's going to show you, hey, do you want a matching website for your design? And you can choose between a couple options like online bookings. I'm going to do that with my business or I just want a basic website or I want sort of a landing page site. You can get your logo and this website, or you can just say, I just need the logo down here. Now, here's the interesting part, guys. This is where I make my recommendation. You can choose a logo plan, right? You can get just the logo. So you can get an expanded logo set with all the standard logo files, resizable logo files, social media, or just the basic with full commercial usage, right? And standard logo files. I'm going to click on that, see what we get. Eight high quality logo PNGs versus resizable yeah svgs that's right that's what you would want if you're actually making a logo you need vector format logos well i wouldn't pick either of these the reason is 49 dollars for pngs a hundred dollars for svgs look my recommendation just subscribe to adobe creative cloud for one month which is less than this, even just subscribe to the Illustrator version, which is probably only like 25 bucks or something, and make your logo in a much stronger program for design, like Adobe Illustrator. Now, I know that a lot of, uh, a lot of you maybe don't know how to do that, so maybe Wix is good for people who are just, I just need something designed, I need to do it myself, I don't want to pay someone and boom it's good enough and you can do this that's fine but i recommend different design programs i mean even photoshop probably has better a better design suite or design tools to create logos so honestly that's my opinion you can download a free sample of this but you know in my opinion i just don't think it's worth the payment you can save 40 percent. oh cool on a logo and a website. Here's the plans for that. Obviously you're going to be paying for the website hosting and everything like that. Um, you know, I just think that I just don't recommend this honestly, but you can do this. Maybe there's a reason to do it. A 500 by 500 PNG is big enough to get a free sample of that. Let's go ahead and download that and see what happens. So I just downloaded this. Okay. This was a JPEG. So that's a little small. Don't like that. What can we go back to our logo maker? Let's see if we can go back. So what happens when we download this 500 by 500 PNG? So that didn't work anymore. Okay, so they got rid of our little download option apparently. What if we duplicate this real quick? Can we download the secondary? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Okay, so yeah, you can't really do a whole lot with this Wix logo maker, but maybe it works for some of you. And maybe if you're going to you know, create a site around this logo, you could start here. But I thought I'd show you guys this possibility out here. And I was also curious at discovering it myself and seeing what we could do with it. Uh, but this is the Wix logo maker. And my recommendation, find a different design software for a month and make your logo in there or find a designer to make a logo for you. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.